Hey guys, it's Trail here. Uh, just back from last week, uh, I did a Texas Audad hunt and did it with some Born Primitive gear that's new to the Go Hunt gear shop. Uh, it was kind of a unique set of circumstances hunting down there. Super rough, really rocky, uh, really nasty terrain. Uh, everything's got thorns, cactus. So it was a good opportunity for me and Brady to put some of the Born Primitive gear to test. And I just wanted to do a run through on the items that I used and kind of touch on highlight on some of the features that I like about Born Primitive gear. Uh, I will say May 4th through the 7th in the Go Hunt gear shop, we're having a sale on Born Primitive gear. It's going to be 25% off. So if you like anything that you see, if you got questions about it, you know, ask. But like I said, it's a great time to score some great gear from Born Primitive May 4th through the 7th, 25% off. So with that, I'll just jump in and kind of run through some of the gear and just touch on things that I really like about it. Uh, I'm going to start with the pant, which I think this is probably one of the best things that they've got within their lineup. It's a very well designed, thought out pant, uh, designed in conjunction with Aaron Snyder, who puts a ton of time in the field, obviously. Uh, the pant that I chose and used for this hunt, like I said, hot weather hunt in the high 80s, low 90s, was the Frontier Light Pant. Uh, the things I really like about it and appreciate are the pocket configuration. So you've got cargo pockets on both thighs, which is great. The one on the right thigh is open, so you get easy access to your gear on that right pocket. The left pocket has a zip pocket, which is great for storing anything that you want to make sure that you don't lose or drop. It also above that has a back pocket for your cell phone. Uh, at first, when I was playing with this, I didn't know that I would use the cell phone pocket that much, but I actually found over the course of the hunt, it was actually really handy. Uh, typically, I've got something in my right hand, whether it's a walking stick or, you know, I'm holding on to my backpack or carrying the sling or a rifle or a bow. Uh, I actually found this cell phone pocket really handy, and over the course of the hunt, I use it all the time, and it's very convenient to keep your phone close at hand. You can very simply pop your phone out, take some digiscope footage or you know pictures, anything that you want. So I really like that little cell phone pocket. Uh, it's got two hand pockets. You have a small pocket for a knife if you want to pop that in. Uh, I really like the button on this. You can see it's got a reinforced tab here, which is kind of nice. Uh, I don't feel like that's going to rip out or have any issues with losing a button, so I can appreciate that. Uh, you've got two back pockets. You've got one that's open. And again, one that's zipped. And I do like back pockets. Sometimes when you're going into town, you want to throw your wallet in your back pocket. You know, it's nice to have that zip pocket. And like I said, one that's open. Uh, other features I like about this, it's reinforced in both the butt and the knee portion of this pant. So it's got a ballistic nylon built in. Uh, you can see I still got some blood on this one, but I put this thing through the paces, man. You're walking through that cat claw and you're ripping and tearing at your pants. You can see I've got a few snags, but for the most part, I was really, really impressed with how well this pant wore over the course of the five days. Uh, in all, this pant fits really well. Um, you know, typically I wear like a 33 if I'm using another brand's pant. Uh, I tried a 34 in this. The 34 is a little bit too baggy for me. I ended up going down to a size 32 which isn't perfect in the waist at this point. I'll get down to a 32 by the time hunting season rolls around, but it did work well and it's a really nice streamlined fit. Uh, it's not as close fitting or tapered fit as something like an Ascent pant from Sitka. Uh, it's not as baggy as like a Stone Glacier. It's a really nice fit and that's actually one of the things that I like most about this pant is that it fits really, really well. Uh, it's also available in a variety of inseam lengths. So, whether you're talking like a short inseam, like a 30 or a 33, which is what I got, or even a 36 inch seam, which is what Brady wears. I think it's one of the only pants that he can wear that he gets the length that he needs in the inseam. So check out that Frontier Light pant. I can't recommend it enough. I had really, really good luck with it. It's a solid pant and one that I plan on using going into the fall. Uh, another piece of gear, the Born Primitive Sun Shirt. It's your basic quick dry material sun shirt. You can see mine's got some sweat stains still. Uh, it's got a really nice hood. The hood's good and deep. It comes clear up and over your face. Uh, fits nice over a hat. Uh, I use that all the time just so I didn't get sun on my ears and my neck. It kept me from getting sunburns. Uh, it's got a couple of thumb hole tabs, which is nice. It's also built with UPF 30 uh, sun blocker. Uh, I didn't get any sunburns, any issues with that. It's just a nice quick drying synthetic sun shirt with a nice hood. So I like that a lot. 
Uh, this is one of my favorite pieces from Born Primitive, which is the Tundra Light Jacket. Uh, I only packed this jacket on that hunt. I used it at night primarily when it did get cold, maybe down into the 50s, maybe the high 40s at night. It was super windy. Uh, this was the only layer that I need. This is a nice puffy jacket, kind of a midway. It's not heavy duty like you might want on a late season hunt. It would might make a nice mid layer piece uh, for a late season hunt. Uh, again, I really like the fit of this jacket. It's long in the sleeves for me. I've got fairly long arms. It's good in the torso. Uh, I'm six foot two, so it fits me really nice in the torso. Uh, it is a synthetic down. Uh, I believe it's 60 grams of synthetic. Uh, it's warm for the weight ratio. The fit's really good. I like the color. Uh, I like the small details like the elastic small cuff at the bottom and then also each arm. So I dig that. Um, it's got just some subtle details that I really like. And overall, you know, it's kind of silly, but I get quite a bit of compliments on this jacket, both in the color, the way it fits and just the way it looks. And like I said, it's super functional. It works really well for that type of hunt as an outer layer, pretty much all you need. Or like I said, as a mid layer on a later season hunt, when you need some added warmth, uh, this is one of my very favorite puffies and I have a bunch of puffy jackets. So check that out. It's the Born Primitive Tundra light jacket. Got a good hood. I dig that jacket. Uh, mid layer. I didn't pack this mid layer just because I didn't need it. Uh, like I said, it was pretty hot. I have been wearing this a bunch and this is just the Born Primitive grid fleece hoodie. Uh, it's just your basic mid-weight piece, grid fleece, provides some insulation. It's got a nice kangaroo pocket here on the front with zippers at both sides, which I really like. I've actually been running in this quite a bit, uh, and it's nice because I can just throw my truck key in that pocket, zip it shut. I don't have to worry about it falling out. Uh, again, just a nice mid-weight piece, good hood, fits great. Uh, that's one thing I can say about Born Primitive gear so far, in my opinion, the fit's been really, really good for me. Uh, finally, this is a piece new to the Go Hunt gear shop. This is not born primitive, but I did want to touch on it. Uh, I don't know if a lot of people are aware that we're carrying this in the gear shop, but this is a hollow fleece alpaca sock. Um, alpaca is said to the wool is said to be uh, more insulating, warmer than a merino wool. It also wicks moisture extremely well. Um, I first got a pair of these maybe two months ago. I've been hiking in them. Uh, I've been running in them. Uh, at first I was like, I don't know if I could ever go away from darn tough and, and maybe I won't, but I will say I wore this same sock, didn't take it off my feet for five straight days in Texas. It performed really, really well. It seems to wick moisture really well. Uh, and I can't say enough good about this sock. So if you're looking to try a new sock, good durability, super comfortable, I would check out these hollow fleece alpaca socks. We have these in the Go Hunt gear shop now. Uh, like I said, some of my favorite pieces from Born Primitive. It's fun to have a new company like Born Primitive in the outdoor space producing gear. The fit's great. Uh, function is really good. Well thought out. The pants are great. This Tundra Light jacket's awesome. So like I said, check out Born Primitive gear on sale. Go Hunt Gear Shop May 4th through the 7th, 25% off.